Hey, all right. <laughs> My hair is looking a mess, but that's okay. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm up. I'm at home. And um, I'm brainstorming, you know, I'm feeding my brain, I'm personally developing. Uh, that's just something that I like to do. Your brain has no capacity, no limit on it, so why not learn? But uh, I wanted to make a video to talk about when you become an entrepreneur, just literally like your life starts changing, um, you start to see life differently. So I want to talk about tonight five, 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 <laughs> five things that will happen to you and it'll make you have a different perspective on life and just see life differently just from deciding to become an entrepreneur. You know, entrepreneurship is more than just a career choice. It's actually um, a way of life. Um, it starts to consume your personal life as well as your professional life and it typically starts to change you as a human being like honestly it really does so the first thing that you'll start to see differently um being an entrepreneur is everything becomes subject to evaluation what does that mean well being an entrepreneur you start to become a business commander you know, you start to take charge. Um, you're responsible for overseeing everything and overlooking everything, every little aspect, every little detail, you start to do it. And as a result, you start to um, see things from a high level of perception. And that's very important because it makes you become more adaptable for, for making flash judgments and fast evaluations. In the course of any given day, you'll be forced to evaluate the strength of your financial models, your pr productivity of your team, and the feasibility of your latest deadline projects. And that's um, very important, guys. As, as a result, you'll start to evaluate everything in your life, everything from, you know, that high level of perception. That's that's very important. So let's just use a couple examples. Uh, if you're going to go out to eat, I love to eat. I love to eat and travel. <laughs> so if you're going to go out to eat, something simple like that, you're going to start breaking it down. And you're going to start having a mental pro and con about the restaurant, um, about the prices, about if it's worth, if you're getting your money's worth, <laughs> um, if you can get some maybe loyalty points, um, other discounts that you can get, you're going to start doing this by default. It's just, just going to happen. Um, another example I can use is if you go to the movies, you know, you're going to start looking at a simple movie, whether it's a comedy or horror or whatever it is, you're going to start um, evaluating the strengths and the weaknesses of the film. You know, you're going to start literally evaluating every single situation in terms of its risk and rewards. It will s soon start to feel so natural to you that you may not even notice that you're doing it, but trust me, other people will pick up on it. Other people can notice it. Other people are aware of your keen sense of being able to evaluate things and look at things from many different perspectives. Uh, the second thing that uh, you'll start to look at differently being an entrepreneur is um, decisions seem less consequential. <laughs> you know, everyone makes dozens of decisions daily. We all have to do it. Things always arise. Um, so your decision daily making will range from a vast variety of things. Um, as an entrepreneur, you start to make even more decisions. You know, some will seem more significant, um, yet they're important. <laughs> they're very important. Um, you'll start to realize that bad decisions um, sometimes yield you decent results, while something that you thought was a good decision may not guarantee you victory. So that's an important lesson that you'll learn being an entrepreneur. You'll start to uh, see decisions as essential, but less consequential, guys. Definitely. Uh, you'll no longer become intimidated by potential factors and fallouts of bad decisions. Instead, you'll start 
to make the best decision you can as quickly as you can and you'll move on very fast you'll that's just it just comes guys i can't really explain how it happens it just does it's part of personal development if you ask me um the third thing that you'll start to look at differently and see differently being an entrepreneur is problems. You know, problems will always start to be less intimidating. And that's like the, one of the things that I love being an entrepreneur is um, you'll start to focus on your problems less and solutions more. You know, you'll start to have a stress-free, stress -free, <laughs> carefree life. Um you know, nowadays, everyday problems seem to arise out of nowhere. You know, you don't really know what problems are going to arise on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, when you become an entrepreneur, uh, one thing that happens to you is you're better at handling these problems as they arise. You're actually like a little mini firefighter. You know, where's your hose at? Get your hose out because you're going to be putting out fires all day. But you're going to be able to handle it at a much um, easier level mindset more keen more open more um carefree basically you're gonna be able to think fast and do what needs to be done execute it and move on to the next problem that arises so rather than um seeing problems as showstoppers you'll start to see them as simple puzzles that are avoidable and demand to be solved immediately so that's a plus plus um, another thing that you'll start to see and look at differently, which is important, um, are people. People are important. Good people, bad people, stressed out people, slow people, stupid people, <laughs> variety of people, they're all important and entrepreneurship will help you see the importance of all those people. So, uh, number one thing that I like to talk about when it comes to people is inventors, not inventors, they're important too, but <laughs> investors and mentors. Um, they will help guide you in life. They are your like run to help me tool. They're very important to be successful and to be an entrepreneur and just to be better at life. Get yourself a mentor and an investor. Become an investor. Invest in yourself also. That's important. Um, partners and teammates will help you see your visions through all the way to success. They will always cheer you on. It's never uh, a competition unless it's a friendly competition, but they're usually in good spirits for you. Get yourself some teammates and some partners. Very important to your success. Um, clients, clients and customers, they will make or break your business. They are very important. So you need to learn how to Accommodate them because they're the most important lifeline and aspect to your business or just being an entrepreneur in general. Um, if you're going to sell stuff or share things with people, you know, you want people to buy it. So your clients are important. Uh, your friends and family, they are there to support you in your most stressful downtime. So use them for their support, their anchor, their cushion. That's what they're there for, a shoulder to cry on, talk to. Utilize them, <laughs> they're important. And overall, human relationships will dictate your success. They really will. So make better relationships, have better relationships, and just learn to value them more because they're important. All right, guys? All right, and uh, the number five thing that you'll look at differently um, just on your journey of being an entrepreneur is ideas. You'll learn that ideas are no longer um, so overwhelming, you know. Just to make a decision on things and come up with ideas is a overwhelming process for most people. So I just want you to keep in mind that even bad ideas because there are bad ideas out there, people. <laughs> if worked on, they can become good ideas. And that's how your mindset will start to shift and change once you become an entrepreneur or you do any type of personal development. Um, you'll start to see that there's pros and cons with everything, but you're always going to look for the pros. And you're not really going to focus on the cons because once you find a solution to any problem, 
goes away your problem. There goes your problem, no problem. So you're always going to focus on a solution. So even if you have a bad idea, it doesn't seem so great, or nobody else is on the same page, uh, maybe you just need to reconstruct it or relook at it or just go with it. You know, you don't have to always listen to other people's opinions. They're just opinions. Like, you don't know the outcome. It could be an, a bad idea and you turn out and you get a good result. So um, being an entrepreneur, you're going to start to hold on to ideas, explore them, and consider them for application, which is very important. And similarly, you'll be more willing and open to listen to other people's ideas. It's not always about your own ideas or just about self. Like, you need people. Just told you people are important. So, one thing that I need you to do, though, when you are realizing these five, five concepts that I have broken down, um, I don't want you to let these perspectives change or intimidate you. That's very important. Very important. Entrepreneurship will and does change you, but in most ways, it always changes you for the better. Always. Um, I've only decided to be an entrepreneur for like the last year of my life, and uh, I've been loving it. And all these five things that I just talked about and touched on have been happening to me, are happening to me, and will continue to happen to me. Uh, I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. I do want to leave you guys with this. Being an entrepreneur, it will be challenging. It will be tough. You will go through ups and downs and all arounds. But I want you to remember that it is a rewarding and exciting journey. Love it. Enjoy it. Embrace it. And remember to fall hard. And become massive, successful. And always say hi to your haters because they're always watching.